Hello, EcoQuest volunteers. Today you'll be learning about our EcoQuest challenge for January 2021 called Taboo Bamboo. This presentation will provide some background information on different types of bamboo that may be growing and invading ecosystems in New York State and New Jersey. It's going to include a field ID segment in addition to some PowerPoint slides so you can feel confident in IDing bamboo and ultimately posting to our iNaturalist project. But before we take a look at some bamboo in the field, I wanted to orient you to a few terms that may be helpful and I'll be discussing throughout the presentation. First, there are two different species of bamboo that are prohibited in New York State. And by prohibited, I mean that it can't be knowingly possessed with an intent to sell, purchase, or introduce. And these two are called golden bamboo and yellow groove bamboo, which both belong to the genus Philostachus. And just a quick note on pronunciation, I've seen and heard these three different pronunciations as you can see here. Um, and the bottom line is that if you're hearing any of these three pronunciations, you're talking about a type of bamboo that has the potential to be invasive. And that's because this genus of bamboo is a type of what is called running bamboo. And as you can see here in, in, this, uh, in, in this picture here, that running bamboo can spread rapidly through rhizomes. And essentially, these types of bamboo can strike out roots and new stems um, out at particular lateral intervals that enable them to form very dense colonies. You can see that these are these underground stems uh, that can shoot up um, new stems from the, from the original parent stem. That's very different from clumping bamboo, where new shoots form fairly close to the side of the parent, um, sorry, parent plants in, in sort of a packaged clump, and these tend to be less invasive. So I'm going to be talking and pointing out these terms and other ID features in the field portion of this video, which is coming up right now. Here's a look at January's EcoQuest Challenge species. It's bamboo. And normally when we think of bamboo, we think of pandas chowing down on this stuff. And that's because bamboo is native to China, but it was brought over to the United States in around the late 1800s, early 1900s as an ornamental plant because it looks, it looks nice, but it was also used as a, um, you know, a fence, their landscape barrier. You can see this really, really dense monoculture that's been established along this roadside here. So definitely a physical barrier, but imagine a native plant trying to grow in this uh, very very difficult so these dense stands smother out native vegetation and really can decrease local biodiversity there are two main types of bamboo that you might see planted in the u.s the first is clumping bamboo which forms new shoots to the side of the parent plant to create a nicely formed clump now as you can see in this dense monoculture where there's a lot of different stems that are popping up and taking up almost this entire roadside here that is a type of bamboo called running bamboo and they can spread through underground rhizomes where essentially like underground stems that grow laterally out and grow extremely fast and are very 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 aggressive and as I said before those lateral shoots can grow three to five feet per year as well as growing three to five feet in height and it's those more invasive types that we'll be focusing on um, in this EcoQuest challenge. There's a couple of different ID features that I wanted to point out here when you're looking for bamboo. So first of all uh, you got to look at the stems right so the stems of bamboo tend to be very smooth as you can see here, the, the stems of bamboo are referred to as a culm, C-U-L-M. They tend to be very smooth, although there is a bit of roughness to it as you, that you may feel on certain species of that, which, which uh, I will point out in a second. You also want to take a look at these nodes here, right? These little joints, almost like the joints you might find in your finger or knuckles or something, right? So in between each of those joints, those distinguishing joints or nodes, is called the internode. They tend to be, I don't know, about like 12 to, um, you know, 10 to 20 inches, these internodes in between each of those nodes. But what really distinguishes the types of running bamboo or the Philostachus genus are these things called the sulcus grooves. And I wanted to point out what exactly those are. So just above the node here, you're gonna see a little bit of an indentation or a little groove in this. You can see that there's a bit of a depression in it where my finger is running up and down. It's almost like it's hollowed out, like you're, like 
Like you're hollowing out something uh, to, to create like almost like a little canoe shape to it. And they alternate along the stem. So here on this side, right, as where my thumb is, if I go up to the next internode, it'll actually be on the other side where I can run my thumb up there. So they alternate um, on side. So that is a distinguishing feature of the Philostachus or running types of bamboos that we'll be on the lookout for in this EcoQuest. So the next question is, is the species of bamboo that I'm looking at one of the two prohibited species in New York State? Well, one of those, remember, was yellow groove bamboo. And you can tell by its namesake, the ID is actually pretty obvious. If you look at the groove sulcus here, you see that yellow stripe down it? Now, I will say that the yellow the yellow groove or that yellow color in within the groove um, t does tend to disappear as the bamboo ages. But if you, especially if you see a dense monoculture like this, you'll see generally these green stems with the yellow stripe on it. Um, and just keep looking for some of the younger culms or the younger stems should have that yellow striping to it, even though it will tend to not be uh, as, the, as yellow striping as it matures. The other way to tell that you're looking at yellow groove bamboo is... Yes, the comb on this is, is generally smooth, especially if I run my thumb down it. But if I run my hand up this stem or this comb, it tends to have like a bit of a rough kind of sandpapery feel to it, almost like you're getting a paper cut or something. So yellow groove bamboo tends to have that. And then the last hallmark of yellow that I know that I'm looking at yellow groove bamboo, is you notice like look at some of the stems around here. If you tend to see a zigzagging pattern, you see how the this one is tends to go um, left and then right and then up on uh, the first couple of um, of internodes in between the nodes on the bottom, then you're likely looking at yellow groove bamboo. Uh, lots of the other bamboo species that you might find in this area do not have that. Now I will say that that zigzagging pattern is not apparent on each of them, but you gotta look at the lowest nodes. And if you do see that yellow, excuse me, that zigzagging pattern to it, you're most likely going to be looking at yellow groove bamboo. And then again, just look around you. Do you see the yellow striping? Does it have the zigzag appearance? And does it have a bit of a the kind of like sandpapery feel to it? If, if you have those characteristics, you're almost certainly looking at yellow groove bamboo. The second type of prohibited species in New York State is called golden bamboo. It's also known as fishpole bamboo, and I point that out because that's how iNaturalist designates it if you go to post this. Golden bamboo or fishpole bamboo ranges from a greenish to kind of a yellowish or golden hue to it, and that depends on the sun or exposure. You can see in this picture here, it's kind of greenish, uh, but more on the yellow golden side, especially as it matures. Uh, but this main hallmark characteristic and how you can ID it is on some of the lower stems, you may see these kind of swollen, compressed internodes. If you look at this picture over here, you see how those nodes are really tightly comp compressed or, or packed together and a little bit swollen? Well, that you will not find that in yellow groove bamboo. Remember that in yellow groove bamboo, you had that zigzag-like pattern at, at the bottom on some of the stems. Well, it's very similar on only some of the stems, not all of them. You'll find these more of like compressed internodes on some of the ran random canes that you might see in fishpole or golden bamboo. Um, in terms of iNaturalist posting instructions, we're asking that you post any observations of, any, of the two prohibited invasive bamboos. And really what you're looking for is, is that, that sulcus groove or depression region in each of the internodes. That's really the hallmark of the invasive uh, Philostachus uh, genus. Um, I also noted when I was outposting in the field that iNaturalist tends to want to default to fishpole bamboo or golden bamboo. So even if it's yellow groove, so just really trust yourself. If you're seeing that yellow striping and other features of yellow groove, um, you know, make sure that you're posting it as yellow groove and not just like what iNaturalist is defaulting to. And if there's any doubt in your mind, you can simply post as Philostachus or just as general bamboos, and we'll sift through it later. So that's essentially what we are looking for. If you've got any questions, feel free to email us at this above email address, and certainly visit our Lower Hudson Prison EcoQuest website, which you can see here um, in this slide as well. 
And I just want to say thank you to our partners and hope that you can participate in this month's EcoQuest Challenge. Hope to see you out there.